Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be biking 67 miles up the C&O Trail from Washington DC to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. And you probably had some questions for me and they might sound something like this. What's the most you've ever biked? 87 miles. How long ago was that? 10 years ago. What's the most you've biked in the last 5 years? 40 miles. What kind of bike did you use? A tiny road bike that you can basically lift with one finger. And what kind of bike are you using now? A 500 pound monstrosity of a commuter bike made out of lead and platinum. Uh, you sure you want to do this? I guess. So yeah, I'm doing this. Uh, it's going to be cold. It's going to be in the 30s and 20s, so I'm going to be going pretty stocked. Uh, let's take a look at the gear I'm going to use. A lot of crap. So, a bunch of bars, lunch, beanie, neck gaiter, um, waterproof shell, book, light jacket, clothes, heavy pants, medium pants, hygiene stuff, boot socks, um, let's see, map. Uh, these things are used to kind of cinch down your pant legs. Heavy gloves, uh, medium gloves, and I finally gave up and actually bought a pair of hiking shoes because it's uh, you can get some pretty nasty hiking up there. Um, heavy jacket, got CO2, spare inner tube, multi-tool, the uh, GPS watch and its charger, spare battery, glasses, wallet, very important, keys. And I'm going to be stuffing all that, well, with the exception of this, because I'm going to be writing this. But I'm going to be stuffing that into my bag, which is also going to carry two liters of water, and a side bag. And over here, we have my bike, which uh, hopefully will take me all the way back, all the way up and right back down. So, I've got uh, lights, got uh, the rack, side basket, also mount for the side bag. In here we've got another inner tube, CO2, lever, uh, another multi-tool, bungees, um, U-lock, and then finally got my cages. Have no idea what to expect. Um, I'm hoping for a good ride, hoping for a good weekend, and let's get going. It's about 37 degrees out, nice and chilly. Uh, got a very long ride ahead of us, six, seven miles. Got my bags all packed. I'm all ready to go. So let's get moving. spent what felt like forever going through <laughs> DC rush hour traffic that finally made it onto the Capitol Crescent Trail. There's the Potomac right there. I'm going to follow that all the way up to West Virginia and about five hours or so this will join up with the CNO Trail which I'll take all the way up. I actually misspoke earlier when I said that the CNO Trail was uh, five miles away. It's definitely a lot closer than that. But uh, Anyway, yeah, on the on the trail, I'm gonna take this all the way up to Harper's Ferry. There's no way to get lost on it because it's just a straight shot through. Um, so we've got an entire video detailing the history and the layout of the CNO. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. But uh, I'll spare you that much for now. I really like this section of the canal where broad out like this. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful view of the Potomac. Wow. I just stopped at the George Washington Aqueduct uh, observation deck. I'm give you guys a look. Very pretty. I'm just under a third of the way through and I uh, just wanted to 
take a little pause for a uh, bathroom and granola break. Um, this is actually the farthest I've ever gone up the CNO Trail, so every additional mile is going to be something brand new. And I'm excited to, uh, to see what it has in store for me. Still a chilly 36 degrees out, uh, though I have taken off the liner from my jacket as well as the heavy, the heavy gloves because uh, I'm, you know, just heating up because I'm working, you know, right up the trail. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going. The trail has really flattened out. Uh, most of the elevation gain on the strip is now behind me. I honestly haven't seen a human being in miles. Um, the highway, uh, I guess we biked past it, so don't hear any cars anymore. And, uh... Every now and then you'll see a house peeking through the woods, but other than that, with the exception of this massive canal that travels for hundreds of miles, there's really no sign of uh, people at all around here. It's very serene, it's very quiet. Really pretty view of the Potomac here. Starting to see more and more hills on the other side as I get higher uh, up in elevation and uh, closer to West Virginia. Come to the first aqueduct here on the Potomac. Uh, it's a lot more peaceful than it was. It's very flat, no rabbits, but uh, still got a long ways to go. I'm halfway through my ride. Uh, still pretty chilly out, but I'm feeling good. Just my toes are numb, and obviously I haven't been able to feel my ears since I started. Uh, other than that, feeling good. Uh, the path has gotten a little rougher than it was before. Uh, more potholes, a whole lot more leaf litter, and uh, uh, basketball, that's interesting. Uh, horse poop, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, I haven't seen another person in about an hour and a half. It's really, it feels really remote here. And uh, yeah, I just gotta keep on keeping on until I get to Harper's Ferry. I've been riding for four hours and 40 minutes. Getting pretty tired, getting really hungry. So I'm stopping here at this little uh, campsite to uh, eat some lunch and then be on my way. I am two thirds of the way through the ride. My legs are tired, but doing okay. I haven't, I've seen one person in about uh, two, two and a half hours. So pretty solitary out here. Um, but yeah, just gotta keep on moving. We've just come to another aqueduct going over the canal. It's really pretty. Really nice views. I am 12 miles out from Harper's Ferry. Just stopped for my final snack break. Can't wait to get there. Pretty tired, but still pretty excited. Uh, just a little look at uh, what's taking me so far. This is Cohete, my bike. It's treated me really well. No flats, no real problems. And uh, just looking forward to getting into town. Crossing one more aqueduct. I think this is the last one. Before I get to Harper's Ferry. The road bridge over to my right. I am so close. So close. It's really, really beautiful out here. Uh, the sun is setting. I'm surrounded by these big rocky hills. And I am almost there. Whew. There it is. My first glimpse of Harper's Ferry. This is literally the last thing I want between me and a hot shower, which is a staircase. 
So I'm gonna have to carry this freaking bike up a bunch of stairs after biking 66 miles on it. But there's nothing for it. Got to my hotel, biked a total of 67 and a half miles, about eight and a half hours, so I didn't break it, any land speed records, but I'm just happy I'm here. So uh, please share and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys around next time.